What's up, my fellow collectors? Both 1.6, quarter scale, 10 scale, any scale. Welcome to another edition of Figure This, Figure That, the Don's Figure Chat. Today I'm doing the Enter Bay Batman. Let's zoom in on this bad boy and have a quick look. You get three of those cowls with different mouthpieces. You come down to his magnetic cape clips, down to his belt, which is really, really dope. Every single piece there is magnetic, sticks to the belt, except for the grappling gun. Really nice. Come down, you come down to the boots. He's got the bat uh, receiver, the bat sonic receiver in his heel. Uh, at the moment, he's got a Tony May custom cape on. Uh, for those in the know, Tony May was the go-to guy for cowls, custom cowls, uh, custom capes for all of our figures. I just was very lucky. I've got one for this piece and I've got one for my QS001. But look at that, man. This suit, I've protected it uh, since I got it. I actually got this one from old Clipper King. Yeah, uh, he's done a video of it as well for his, but I mean, he's he was the champ. You don't get better than Clipper King in my book. Well, uh, there's some close uh, Batman fanatics now out there. Dean Knight, he does a lovely uh, video review on bats. But he is a magnificent piece, eh? And I always wanted to get the Enterbay Batman, but uh, the Enterbay Joker. But the price, man, was uh, just uh, extortionate. Uh, there's his uh, gauntlets with his spikes. Uh, he comes down into the typical interbay holding stand with two little floodlights in the front that light up. Let's go over some of his accessories. You get open sticky bombs and closed sticky bombs. I just happen to have a few spare uh pouches i suppose you'd call them for his belt so i thought i'd show you this is the metal cruncher that he uses in the beginning when uh, the guys in the hockey masks and that show up and he goes off to scarecrow and that's what he uses to dig into the side of the van those two little gizmos there they go into a pouch on the back of his belt, but uh, they very famously always get lost. So I keep my, I protect them like the crown jewels. I've put a batarang in that hand, so you can see what the hands are used for. Here's his other hands. He has the trigger hand, obviously, for his grappling gun. Here is the different cowls with the different mouthpieces. As you can see, they're all looking in different directions. That's the neck post that you use to put on the cowls onto the body. That's a joker mask. And this here is a Koo model quarter scale body with the enter bay head sculpt. Just now, I'll take this head sculpt off and I'll show you the bat suit without the cape in a different type of setup. You will enjoy that. He's on, as I say, he's on a coup model, quarter scale. I can't remember who did the suit, but it's really nice, really nice, down to his shiny shoes. And he's basically saying, don't leave yet. He's got dope things to discuss. Okay, over here, is the polystyrene box. It is massive. Here you can see it's got a, a pull away. It's attached with uh, Velcro, Velcro spots. So yeah, not your typical clamshell. I don't know if you got to see those heads properly. Let me try and zoom in there. There, now you can see. Can you see the eyes are looking different directions? And you obviously can change the mouth plates out on each one. So for whatever pose you put him in. 
The hands are made of hard rubber. So this one is one that you have to hair dry or you have to dip in hot water before you can take it off the peg and put it on. While I'm here, this batarang is off the necker figure, but it's quite a lacquer a batarang, so I use it for my bats. Those there are three batarangs that fit to his belt. He's also got the foldable ones that uh, attach to a bracket on his belt. But look at the detail. Look at the, I can't remember what that was. Is it a, a, not a cell phone, it's a communicator of sorts, I think. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful piece, eh? Let me sit down again. As I say, he's got a custom cape on from Tony May. Also a beautiful cape, because the stock cape is not that great. The same as any Batman figure. Don't know why. Between Enter Bay and Bloody Hot Toys, you think they'd get it right by now. So you're forever buying custom capes. But look at that, doesn't he look? Batman, do, 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 do. Batman. Very, very dope. So the story goes, I got this piece. And as I say, I always wanted the Interbay Joker, but the prices were extortionate. So, uh, bid my time and I thought one day I'll get one and then Hot Toys announced their Batman Begins boot boot <laughs> Batman figure and their quarter scale Joker so I didn't get the Batman Begins figure but I got the Joker and he uh, holds pride of place in my collection at the moment him and my QS001 the Hot Toys uh, quarter scale Batman from the Dark Knight Rises and the, the second one, the Dark Knight. Where this one is predominantly from uh, Batman Begins and the beginning of the Dark Knight, I think. He takes a lot of damage in this suit. As I say, he's got the receiver in his boot that you can pull out. But yeah, un under display lights, he just steals the show, eh? Until obviously Batfleck came along, but he's only one six scale. But look at that. I think they've nailed it. They've got the physique. Uh, yeah, he just looks strong. You know what I mean? Uh, just now, I'll, I'll, as I say, I'll use the Christian Bale head sculpt to show you uh, a Batman Begins figure with this particular interbay. There's the Joker mask. That you use, he displays proudly because he kicked the shit out of him. You've seen the cows. Let's have a look at this figure again. Because he's also very dope, eh? The suit is well made. That's the Interbay head sculpt. Yeah, very, very nice on the Ku model quarter scale body. Even the hands, the paint app is excellent, eh? At the moment, he's got a waiter bookie hand. And the first, and he's the same as the action figures, 30 points of articulation. It's just a dope way of uh, showing off the head sculpt, the Christian Bale head sculpt, you know, really, really nice. And he looks fantastic in the display next to all the Batman and the Joker. And then I sometimes put the Joker's 38 revolver in his hand just to say, hey, bud. I'm going to get you in the court case finishes. But then he gets a clap from Rachel. <laughs> he doesn't do it. And he storms off in a sulk to become Batman. Trains under Raza al Ghul. But yeah, enough of him. This is what the, all the storm is about on this video. Look at that, man. He's looking you direct in the eyes. He's going to kick your ass. Beautiful, beautiful figure. The suit hinders articulation quite a lot, as you can imagine. But you can still get some really dope poses out of him. Uh, you've got to protect the suit if you get one of these. Protect it with 303, uh, 303 wipes as soon as you uh, 
acquire him, you know. Oh, oh, these quarter scale figures I take strain with my back. Eh? I can't hold the camera up. So I think it develops a bit of a shake. But yeah, oh, look at that. Eh? It's worth looking through the shake. It is. It's worth looking through the shake. There he is. Beastly Batman. How dope does that look? So oh, you can bend the elbows, you can raise the shoulder. It's a lot of ratchet joints. Uh, but yeah, very, the suit hinders it big time. Big, big time. And one of the guy's main bitches is the, the belt is too high. And you can't adjust it because it's got a strap at the back that attaches to it to hold it in place. Uh, I actually had a figure from Clipper that he'd modified, taken some of the bat suit away from under the belt and, uh, yeah, fixed that problem. But uh, I've got this one now, and this one's gorgeous. No mods, no nothing. Just pure interplay badness. Okay. Well, I think that's about it for him because I'm really battling yeah, with the uh, camera. Let me just go over the accessories once more. You get the metal ripper. You get quite a few hands for different poses. Those there, those little uh, grappling hooks are for the grappling gun, obviously. Closed sticky bombs. Are they sticky bombs or closed bombs? And open bombs. And those are some of the containers or pouches that go on his belt by way of magnets. That there, the batarangs, is three. You get those three. And then you get those foldy ones at the side there. Foldy batarangs. I think that's a technical term. Yeah, all those pieces fit on via magnets which can be a mission when you're trying to place them on because they jump for each other. Uh, okay, so I'll come back just now and I'll show you my Batman Begins Enter Bay figure. And yeah, don't go away because he looks super dope, eh? Okay, count to ten, I'll be back. See, now that wasn't long, was it? I bet you didn't even count to ten. You swines, bastardos. <laughs> okay, I thought I'd give you one quick pose with the grappling gun before I change out the head sculpt. He's got the two uh, grappling hooks in the front there. Let's see if you can see them from the side. There you go. You can see how the suit bunches up to hinder articulation. It's been a nightmare eh? trying to get the bloody cape to stay, stay on. So yeah, there you go. In his uh, shooting grappling gun pose, as they call it. Very nice. As I say, the joints are all ratchet, but uh, he's an old piece. You don't want to do too much with him. Uh, because I'm not using the magnets for the cape, because the magnets, where they sit and attach to the other magnet on the other side, it actually wears a hole in the suit, believe it or not, because the magnets are so strong. So I just use a bit of sticky back, some sticky back Velcro, but it's all came away this morning when I was posing him for this. So, uh, yeah, see what I go through for you? See what I go through? So he's in a normal standing pose. I'll spread the legs. Oh, I'll spread the legs a bit more. Uh, I've adjusted the cape so that the cape hangs. So you can see where the suit is bunching up. And because this is such an old figure, I'm so glad I have 303 white in for ages because you can see when you bunch up the suit like that, it gets this white, like a white texture to the crease. And to me, that signifies dryness. 
you know. You know, the suit's getting old. The suit's getting old. But uh, it's not a problem. I mean, there's no deterioration whatsoever on, on, on this boy, bad boy. He's well looked after. I just don't like seeing those white creases when you are uh, bending him around. But I suppose it's normal. Uh, you can see, do you call it a holster where he's batter, where he's a uh, grappling hook hangs? It's got a little peg there that you attach through the trigger guard and it stays onto the belt. Okay, well, I just wanted to show you that, another quick pose of him. Because he is such a dope piece, he deserves some attention, eh? And I haven't really given him the credit he's due. I'll just go over that again. There's the two cowls. You get three, all with different eye uh, position. And you can see he's looking direct at you. He's looking to the side, which is maybe what I should have used on that one. You get the joker mask the neck peg to attach these cowls to the body. You get various hands for doing different uh, different things. At the moment, I've got the trigger hand on him. There's his meat grinder that he uses to cut through the panel van when he's chasing the scarecrow in the beginning scene. Couple of pouches that magnetize to his belt. Some uh, closed bombs, some open bombs. That's his batarangs. Uh, you get three in that set. It's also, all of it's magnetized. All of these that you see on the belt there are all magnetized. I like those folded batarangs though, uh, for me. It just uh, looks so much more doper. But you can see, check how good the suit is, man. I've got this suit looking like, oh. Even Batman would be proud. Okay, I'll stop speaking shit now. Very hard figure to pose, eh? Very hard figure. I don't know if it's because of the age. You know that the bodies underneath are not as good as they should be. But he is the best, one of the best out there for a quarter scale Batman. Until you get a Hot Toys QS001. But this is a beast. A beast. And still today, I think of him as one of the best Batmans in my collection. He just owns it, eh? He just owns it. Okay, enough. Enough of that, I hear you say. Let's get on with a bloody show. Okay. I'm going to take the head sculpt off, the cowl off. Put the head sculpt and show you some recent additions that I've added to him. So for now, look him in the eyes. Count to 1500 and I'll be right back. See, it didn't take you long to count to 1500. I'm right back. Right, let's go into this bad boy. That's the Enterbay head sculpt. Very, very Christian Bale. Uh, you've seen the suit, but that harness is from the Hot Toys Batman Begins figure that they released. So is the balaclava. So what the guys are doing is leaving or getting a separate head sculpt and either masking it underneath with either tape or cling wrap or whatever and leaving the balaclava on. Uh, I've got an extra head sculpt specifically for wearing the balaclava, but uh, yeah, I don't use it. I like to see the Christian Bale head sculpt because it's so bloody good. Very, very dope. And the Hot Toys harness is also nice. The balaclava is good as well. There you can see better detail of the things on the belt. I've put the gun back in the cradle. That's what it's called, the cradle. 
Uh, yeah, very, very nice piece, eh? You just can tell how much I love it. He's a beast, he really is. He dominates wherever he sits in the display cabinet. He's just got so much shelf presence. That's unreal. That's why everyone wants one. Well, who are Batman collectors. Yeah, very nice. Even from, no matter which angle you look at him, it's Christian Bale or Bruce Wayne, you know. So, yeah. I'll turn him around just now and I'll show you the piece that Clipper King modded on the other one. It was a really dope mod because it made the, the belt sit lower. But uh, as I say, I'm, for salon purposes, if I ever do, I'm glad I got one with the strap because those don't want the modded stuff, you know? Okay. Sorry for that bump. Oh. There's also, I noticed on some of the videos, a bit of a shake. Sorry, that's me. My body just can't cope with holding it up at shoulder height. There we go. Oops, that's fallen a bit. Okay, now that there, that pouch is where you put those two grappling, uh, grappling hooks. There you can see the strap that uh, holds the belt together and holds it high up on the suit. So yeah, that was the mod they were doing. And then lifting the bat suit to take away some of the fat suit underneath. But you can see this suit is still in excellent condition, eh? That's all down to 303 wipes. There you can see some of the other magnet, it's those uh, canisters. Let's see, that one's gone skew. Oh, excuse the shake, eh? I had to move in there. So, yeah. Very, very dope piece, eh? Even from the back, looks like Batman. He's actually staring out over Gotham Harbor. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, yeah. There we go. He's just seen the bat symbol. And he's going to answer soon. Look at the detail on the belt. Really, really dope piece, eh? Magnificent piece, actually. Yes, a new one, a new one, my aunt. Not dope, just wickedly badass. Okay, let me turn him around. Wow, these handheld videos are terrible, eh? Excuse the, I'm knocking my own work here. <laughs> but yeah, I suppose I should have stopped and turned him. There we go. Back. Back in front. The backdrop of Gotham City, if you uh, haven't heard yet on my various other videos, is from Backdrop and Bases, Dean Gladwell. And the diorama, this one, a, f a present from my Bat Chat friends, is made by IC Customs, Steve Weber. I was going to do another pose with his metal grinder on, but I just can't. Eh? There you can see the hand with the batarang. Just makes it easier when you know which hand you're looking for, you know? But for now, I will leave you with all the beastiness and presence of the Enterbay bats. Hey man, he's a dope piece. Sorry, aunt, but he is. Dope, dope piece indeed. You can go with a, I would imagine when he was using the harness and a zip line, 
he wouldn't have had all these little accessories on the belt, but I just think they look so dope on. It's a shame to leave them off. You know? Rich, oh, I love him, eh? As I say, I, this guy's a keeper. I've had him for ages now. About five years, this one. <laughs> There's, is the, have I got them? You know what? I actually tell a lie. There is no floodlights. I thought there was. There must be another figure I'm thinking of. Hmm. Hmm. You learn something new every day. Yeah, as I say, he's got the bat sonic receiver. You slip it out from his boot heel. Uh, very nice touch. Nice touch. I just had to dip the hands in hot water to change them out because this I didn't want to play ball. These older figures don't though. You know, you have to do that or hair dryer to either pull the neck peg out. Uh, I had to pull in this neck peg. I had to pull it out to put the Bruce Wayne head sculpt in. Okay, I'll give you a one small going over of a fantastic piece. I mean, that 303 wipes, they keep them almost looking brand new. So if you've got this piece or any piece with rubber like this or pleather, get yourself some 303 wipes. I've got a video up about it. Go have a look and you'll see uh, the Theophy wipes and how to do it and the whole move and you are you have to eh? you have to especially with this these type of suits because the one six scale one comes in this type of rubber as well so does the hot toys one six scale batman begins so yeah okay i'll leave you with that final gaze from bruce look him in the eyes there you go and the don says Peace out.